you guys wanted me to max out the doom shotgun and modern warfare 3 zombies so today we're going to take it in game get a tier 3 pack legendary rarity try it against zombies a bunch of different bosses including the mega abomination and the doom shotgun might actually be pretty good in zombies because it has the maelstorm dual trigger special attachment built in meaning it's going to shoot both bullets at once leading to a ton of damage we're also going to test out slug rounds on it because some of the shotguns become insane if you pack a punch them with slug rounds so hopefully this one does the same if you want to see more weapon testing videos like this in the future make sure to unlock that subscribe button and let me know what weapon you want to see me test out next so if we go to shoot this weapon it should shoot both whoa oh that's because we have shatter blast on it but yeah it shoots both bullets at once that's what the specialty trigger this has on it does so i have a feeling that it might be able to do some serious damage when packed because normally you shoot one bullet and then you'll shoot the other and this weapon does get a special ability when you pack a punch it, it becomes a burst weapon so a burst weapon with this specialty trigger I don't know. I, I think it, I think it might have the potential for some crazy damage. Maybe just, just maybe. check out this elimination contract. Yeah, I'm I'm uh I'm gonna need that because I ain't got nothing, Suki. We we got a <laughs> we need a little bit of a three plate. What happened to all your stuff? I crashed, bro. Whenever you see me spawning with nothing, just assume it's because I crashed. <laughs> so unlucky, dude. Oh, I do need to get a I need to get a fire mod. Let's do this to get a fire mod. That's one of the camo challenges. Wait, there's Christmas hats on the little weird dudes. <laughs> what although in here with the giant chunks of meat on the ceiling does make this a lot more doom like dude how many zombies are upstairs almost died yeah me too no oh, i did god dang it. <laughs> i died to gas outside of the building because i died after i died dude i just need a fire mod that's one of the camo challenges like i get 250 kills with uh, bl bl blast for what what's what dude i don't know they've called it like six different things in six different games napalm burst yeah that sure I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with blast furnace, dude. It's had like nine different names. I don't know. I, I'm I'm definitely dead in here, bro. Oh my god, Lego. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I gotta self revive. Yeah, what? No. Why are we in here? Let's just get out of here. No, I need the mod. Oh, I have no bullets. That's why I can't shoot. There we go. All right, I'm looking for a fire mod. I'm looking for a fire mod. Actually, I found it. No, I found it. Here, take it. You got napalm burst? Yeah. There you go. Don't say I never did nothing for you. I'm looking for the ammo mod, not the uh, the one that you put on your gun. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, dude, anytime. Great. Th thanks, dude. I appreciate you. Well, I also got to get point blank kills. At least we can work on that while we're getting the napalm burst. Yeah, uh, we definitely do want to pack this, though, because I, I only get one shot, and then I've got to reload as it stands. Because, you know, the whole point of the trigger is it shoots everything at once, which is great, but not when you're killing a tier one zombie, because one zombie per reload is not a great... Wait, maybe if we line them up, Come on, line him up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, how did I kill the one in the back, but not the one in the front? There we go. There's a two for one. Let's go. One reload, two kills. I got a pack crystal. Oh, here we go. All right. Ooh, so wait. Yeah, it's now a burst, but it... It does. It still shoots both bullets at once. It sounds weird, though. It still has the doom sound, but it's like a pack-a-punch doom sound now. What? Still only pack tier one, but I, I think it's going to do some damage to this uh, this little boss right here. Come on. Ooh, I really hope this is a grower, not a shower, because that was not the best. Yeah, now we can kill. Oh, the, dude, I kind of wish it wasn't burst, because you don't even get an option. It shoots the next set for you. Like, I only get two shots with this because of the trigger, and it's just like every time I push it, it's like, you know, there you go. There's all your ammo. There's every single bullet you had in the gun. So you better be ready to shoot your next zombie. <gasps> oh, that is going to... Okay, Silky, you are... I could kiss you right now, bro. This thing is satisfying to use, but you almost have to like flick. As soon as you pull the trigger and kill a zombie, you immediately got to flick to the next zombie because it's going to shoot your next shot. So it's like, all right, here's two zombies. I got to shoot this one and then flick to the next. Shoot this one and then flick to the next. Shoot this one and then look for the... Oh, what was that range? Hold on. I haven't even changed the attachments on this. Well, you, you can't change the attachments on the Doom shotgun. You're kind of forced to use what it has. Well, let's see. Is, can I kill this zombie from here? Ooh, what? Wait a minute. Ho hold on. Hold up. You know, this thing's not supposed to have... Okay, there's no way, right? Wait a... Okay, it took four shots, but um, this doesn't have slugs. You can't... No, that's definitely not slugs, right? I can't tell because of the tracers, but I'm pretty sure the Doom Shotgun doesn't have slugs. Doesn't look like slugs. All right, I still got to get point blank kills. Oh, I've also got to get bloodthirsties. All right, I've got to get... Uh, not bloodthirsties. That's multiplayer. I got to get the Jackrabbit medals. I got to get a bunch of kills in a row without taking damage. 
All right, but either way, we need money. So we need uh, we need to do a little bit of farming, Soki, because I got to get geared up if we're going to take this against Mega Abominations. Okay, this thing is not holding up against Tier 2 Zombies. It takes both shots to kill an armored Tier 2 Zombie. Come on, dude. I, I want this to be good so bad. I want there to be one good shotgun besides the Lockwood. Well, this is also a Lockwood. Besides the 780. Or the 680. We need to get that out. Uh, we need to do this because I need to get that fire mod. Please tell me there was a fire mod in here. You know what's crazy, though? Check this out. Yeah, yeah. Is it another... Bro. <laughs> All of these were in that box. <laughs> <laughs> Are you... <laughs> that is everything but the mod that I need. Uh, I know we've done like three of these, but let's try this one. If you go down, though, best of luck to you. Oh, I am going down. Oh, there we go. Curse Forest unlocked. In zombies get 250 kills with the Lockwood 300. Hold on, bro. I'm breaching and clearing. I'm playing this out like a doom mission right now. Come on, come on. You ain't got nothing on me, zombs. You ain't got nothing on me. You and your reefs. And I'm out of bullets. Oh, no. All I got left is the garbage gun. Oh, that helps. That helps. That helps. All right, come on, come on. We got this. Pop that pimple. The last one's up top. I see it. Woo. All right, fire, fire, fire. Bro, you one of these ha dude no dude oh well epic tool there really needs to be a way to pick the ammo mod you want you know in cold war so easy go to the pack much machine pick your ammo mod and yeah i know you can craft an ammo mod but what if yours is on cooldown like trying to find one in game can just be ridiculous i feel like we could do five more of these and there's a chance we could just not get it there should always be a guaranteed way like even if it costs a crap ton of money just to guarantee we get it dude this thing is not doing anything to a disciple but i'm not even tickling him with this yeah i need to pack this another time oh my give me the fire mod dude it's giving me dead wire circuits i don't need these dude shatter blast are you kidding me okay here we go fresh game napalm burst ammo mod it took us having to go into another game to get a stupid ammo mod because we just couldn't get it but hey, also bring in a pack crystal, got us some perkies. All right, now we got to get 250 kills with the napalm burst ammo mod on. We've also got to get point blank kills and I've got to get 20 kills without getting hit. That is, that's the hard one because this, this gun wastes a lot of ammo. Because I use two bullets every time I shoot. So every time I pull the trigger, I'm technically shooting four bullets. Because watch, there we go, look at that. Four bullets gone, four bullets gone. I like this trigger, but you know, it doesn't seem to be super practical. What do you think the odds are if we do this sport contract, we get a napalm burst ammo mod? Watch, first one. You, oh, bro, I hate this game. This is, this is what I'm, it knows. The game actually knows when you need something. There's no way. We just did a bunch of those last game. Got every mod but napalm burst come in. First one, first one, first crate we open. First slot, napalm, dude, it knows. I'm farming it, bro. I'm, I'm getting 20 kills without taking it. Dude, oh my, I'm out of bullets. See, I always get hit. I run out of bullets and then I get hit because I can't kill 20 zombies without getting like a bajillion ammo things. The fact that I shoot four bullets every time I shoot, like this thing deletes ammo. Hey, at least it's one-shotting tier one zombies now that it's packed and it takes four bullets to two. This gun kind of suck, don't it? Dude, oh my god, and I get hit by a dog. Dude, I just need to get 20 kills. I'll take damage. That's all I need to do. That's legitimately all that I freaking need to do. Dude, if one more dog hits me, I'm gonna cry. I'm I'm gonna cry. There's never been a weapon that I've struggled with the 20 kills without taking damage before. This is the only one. Jackrabbit. All right, now I gotta get hit. That's one out of 10, Silky. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. There we go. There's another 30. Got another one already. It's really just the dogs. Like, that's the only thing that's getting me is the dogs. But, like, they're not sneaking up behind me from this spot where I'm at right now. Hey, get that dog, Silky. See, there's another one. Let's go. There's three. Oh, there we go. Cracked vessel unlocked. 250 kills with the fire damage. That's two camo challenges done. I've also got to get the point blanks, but we can do those. Ah, I'm not going to work on the point blanks and the jackrabbits at the same time. I'm going to be honest. It's a terrible idea. There's another jackrabbit. Dude, we're farming these. We're farming these. Did I already get the jackrabbit medal? I might have already got a jackrabbit. I know I got to get hit to reset. Oh, no, there it is. There we go. All right, smack me up, zombie. I do need to take damage. Oh, there we go. Deceased breast unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I don't know. I read them too quickly, bro. I, they're, they're not on screen long enough. All right, now I got to get point blanks. This is so much more fun when you're using a point blank. Oh, there we go. Gord unlocked. 250 point blank kills with the lock with 600. Now we just got to X and we'll have gold. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where's that gold? Where's that gold? Also, we got to see what the name of the camo was. All right, let's uh, let's check out the actual names of the camos we got. So we got Cursed Forest, which, you know, let's put it on a normal weapon. Uh, you know, one that we could actually tell what the camo looks like. Okay, so we got Cursed Forest, uh, Deceased Beast, is that's what it was. A uh, Cracked Vessel, and then Gord. Gord actually feels like this could go good on some weapons, but more importantly, 
Oh, golden ivory. Golden ivory looking clean. All right, where's Packer Punch? Where's Packer Punch? It is time. Let's max upgrade this baby. But I'm gonna tell you right now, my hopes are not high, but I also wanna try it with slugs because that's what makes the other Lockwood good. So in this game, we have two separate versions. We've got the normal version, the Doom Shotgun one, and then I've got a different blueprint that puts the slugs on them. And it still has the specialty trigger. So that's the only way I can see this weapon being good. That's the only way I could actually see this weapon be even remotely worth using. All right, so here we go. Pack it once, pack it twice, and pack it three times. Now we've got the super shotgun. I got you, bud. Woo! Okay, we turned the zombie. I hope this is a one shot. This better be. Okay, so it one shots tier three zombies. Oh, not armored though. Oh. All right, mangler time. Let's see what it does to a boss with this trigger on it. Three reloads. Three reloads to take down a mangler. Woo! Yeah, I really hope Slugs transforms this. I really hope Slug transforms this into a new weapon because uh, the normal version is mid. Not completely unusable, though. There are some weapons that are unusable in Tier 3. It's not bad to the point where it's unusable. Can be used. Just not really a reason to. Must find Mega Abomination. Yeah, that's right. You ain't ready for this, Mega. You ain't ready for this. Open those eyes. Open those pearlies. Oh, no. Oh, wow. E there are very few weapons that don't do a lot of damage when you shoot them in the eye. And this four-round shotgun is is one of those weapons. Maybe it was just a fluke. Try it again. Oh, we did. Yeah. This thing's a dud. Oh, my. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, no. Oh, get me out of here, dude. It's out of ammo again. PC spawned, I think. But now let's try the same shotgun, but with slugs. So it still has the dual trigger attachment. But now it's got slug rounds. I'd show you, but I have zero bullets in it because it took everything in me to take out that Mega Abomination just for him to despawn at the end. This one also doesn't have the low FPS effect, which is, you know, kind of nice. All right, so let's see. If we shoot this now, I can't even see the slugs. Unfortunately, this doesn't do what the other Lockwood does. The other Lockwood, it gives you like eight slugs when you shoot. This, wow, uh, yeah, this is, ooh. Come on, Lockwood. I wanted you to live up to your potential. So it is still one tap. Oh, dude, this is so bad. Is it, all right, maybe it's really good against the boss. Dude, I just want a really good double barrel. That's all I want. I loved using the double barrel in World of War. Not amazing, but it was better than this. The double bear on World of War at least had a little bit of oomph to it. This, um, this with or without slugs, just, it's just not it. And yeah, we could take off the attachment that makes it a double burst, but it, this is taking both shots to kill these armored tier three zombies. So we want to definitely keep this on. It is just, um, it, it kills just very slow compared to other weapons. And there is not a single reason in the world to use this over the Lockwood 680. What, what, what is that weird? Is it, do you have tracers on these? Why are these zombies? I need help. Right now, Lego, please. Oh, I'm coming, Silky. Uh, revival. Thank you. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so safe to say, um, unless you're grinding camos on this shotgun, uh, I'd, I'd give it a pass. It's kind of fun. The, using the Doom version of this shotgun is a little bit fun because it's a Doom shotgun. But, yeah, overall, pretty low rating for me. If I had to rate this weapon, I'm, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. Unless there's some crazy build that you guys know of. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest this one here. If you want to see any more pack a punch testing videos like this in the future, where we take a gun and zombies, fully max it out, try it against a bunch of bosses, uh, make sure to unlock that sub button. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and peace. Lego unlocked. He's Lego unlocked. It's going to unlock all these camels.